breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Kano sacrificing to emancipate Igbo land. IPOP's legal team. Kano sacrificing to emancipate Igbo land. IPOP's legal team. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop's legal team on Friday, said the detained leader of the Hypop, Unamdi Kanu, at the Department of State Services, the SS, was sacrificing for the emancipation of the Igbo land from being destroyed. The lead counsel to Hypop, if you are in a jail for, stated this in a statement to newsmen in Oweri, following their discussion with Kanu at the DSS facility in Abuja last Thursday. Therefore, he called on the Igbos to remember Kanu in their prayers as we mark the resurrection of our Lord Jesus this week. He explained further, the routine court ordered visits to our amiable client, Onyedu Mazi Unamdi Kanu, took place on 14th April 2022. We had a very long but fruitful briefing with Onyedu. The discussions we are exclusively about our legal undertakings. Consistent with Onyedo's appreciative nature, he sends his deep gratitude to you all, millions of his followers, for your dodgedness and hard work, and especially to Ezigbo Omochineke, who have remained faithful to the demands of the present circumstances. Onyedu also seized the opportunity of the visit to express his heartfelt gratitude over the extraordinary performance of his erudite lead counsel, Chief Mike Ozeko Mensan, and the entire indefatigable legal team, which is impacting hugely. He specifically commended his legal team, ably led by the legal Iroko of our time, Chief Mike Ozekome, son, for the uncommon feat. Oyedu is hopeful of brighter days ahead, as it is now, indisputable that the days ahead are pregnant with good fortunes. We should not forget the fact that Onyedu, though may not be seen moving around a free person today, his present ordeal is a sacrifice to many and ostensibly dedicated to the emancipation of all Omo Chineke. We must remember Oyedu in our prayers and use this solemn week to introspect on the journey covered and the one ahead as we mark the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Oyedu will surely emerge victorious in the end and it shall happen soon. Oyedu enjoins you all to always keep your eyes on the ball. Even as enemies of Omochineke are desecrating our land, which sacrilege is targeted at painting Omochineke black, but they will not succeed. God will expose them all. Please do not lose focus. Keep your eye on the ball, always for maximum output. 
victory is ours. Ezigbo, Omochineke, a Jew for said. The indigenous people of Biafra. High Pops legal team on Friday said the detained leader of the IPOB, Unamdekano, at the Department of State Service, the SS was sacrificing for the emancipation of the Igbo land from being destroyed. The head counsel to IPOB, Ifiai Ejiofo, stated this in a statement to newsmen in Owiri, following their discussion with Kano at the DSS facility in Abuja last Thursday. Therefore, he called on the Igbos to remember Kano. In their prayers as we mark the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ this week. He explained further. The written court ordered visits to our amiable client Oyedu Mazi Unam de Kano took place on 14th April 2022. We had a very long but fruitful briefing with Oyedu. The discussions were exclusively about our legal undertakings. Consistent with Oyedu's appreciative nature, he sends his deep gratitude to you all, millions of his followers, for your dodginess and hard work, and especially to Ezidbo Umuchineke, who have remained faithful to the demands of the present circumstances. Oyedu also seized the opportunity of the visit to express his threat is that first gratitude over the extraordinary performance of his erudite lead counsel, Chief Mike Ozekome, San, and the entire indefatigable legal team, which is impacting hugely.